This uh, session is just one very clear example of the wonderful role that India is actually playing. I am very, very impressed. India will always have a, a big role. I'm looking forward to India, Pakistan and other countries working collectively. The connect uh, between the SU countries uh, as far as Buddhism is concerned. Obviously, this Buddhist civilization, if we want to look at it, is actually the first binding uh, glue that brings all these countries and the cultures together. And as the Honorable Minister said earlier in her speech, it would be very nice to be able to go back in history and forget the differences and go back to how we were all connected then and how we can find the commonalities rather than the differences between all of our different cultures. And remember, at one time, we were the same culture and we were the same people. How do you see uh, the, the remainings of Buddha civilization in Pakistan? And how can you know it can connect with the other countries, including India? Well, I will be presenting on that. The wonderful thing that has happened in Pakistan the last uh, decade or so is there is an increased awareness and recognition of our other heritages other than the Muslim heritage, so our Hindu heritage. What Pakistan has done as far as promoting the Sikhs, pilgrims to come to Pakistan, providing them with the security and hospitality. Now Pakistan is starting to do more and more on the Buddhist side also. And this recognition is very good for the world because we had a very rich culture. Padma Sambhava was born in Sawat Valley, but nobody was taking care of the sites. In the last 10 years, because of the recognition, the sites are being developed and Pakistan is really starting to cater to the world and say, okay, we have a Buddhist heritage. Please come and visit. How serious is the government of Pakistan as far as preserving the old culture is concerned? They are very, very serious now. That is, uh, my presence here is a representation of that. I've been an advisor to the government on tourism and archaeology. Uh, I've served other positions, but I'm a private sector guy myself. And the Pakistan is very, very serious and increasingly serious in trying to uh, preserve and uh, publicize and promote the the culture, all the heritages, Hindu, Sikh, and Buddhism. So my last question to you is, how do you see India's contribution? Because India has a major role to play as far as Buddhism is concerned. Hmm. How do you see India is playing the role uh, as far as Buddhism? Well, I mean, this uh, session is just one very clear example of the wonderful role that India is actually playing in bringing all the countries of SEO or, or let's say all the countries with the Buddhist heritage together. Uh, the ministers, the way they spoke, uh, I am very, very impressed uh, on how hospitable uh, India has been, uh, how they are bringing all the countries together. And India will always have a, a, a big role because the, you know, Buddha was born in India. Buddhism originated from here. Uh, and uh, I think I'm looking forward to India, Pakistan and other countries working collectively to preserve, promote uh, the Buddhist heritage, the common Buddhist heritage of all of our countries.